for the first time in the studio in the last at least one month. Lawyer Martin Pebble, <laughs> his <laughs> private legal practitioner, <laughs> is a, a passionate Ghanaian for that matter. Mm -hmm. And he has inked his name in the jurisprudence in this country, contributing his quota to shipping the legal system in this country in many ways. Lawyer Martin Pebble, good morning. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Kansi. Welcome Thank you. back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's right. It's good to take a rest once in a while, Indeed. right? Yeah, so let me do the normal custom. <laughs> let me uh, say a brief uh, good morning to uh, Garmanche, mm -hmm. uh, Kentucky Ni Teku Chu. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, as I always say, we should be louding Garmanche for wading into the Sicily Adapa matter. You see, now mm -hmm. he's dead. Garmanche yes. was the last person to have commented. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? Of course, we have a lawsuit in the court, okay, against mm -hmm. the Attorney General. That warped interpretation where they want to use to free Cecily Adapa. Mm -hmm. That one is a different matter. We can't talk much about that one here. Yes. But as citizens, you are free. You are free to continue to comment about the Cecily Adapa matter. Mm -hmm. We have to express our probium, our highest disgust mm -hmm. that one person can have so much money in her bedroom. And today, business is going on as usual, as if nothing happened. Is that the kind of country we want to have? Now, what, what, what's, the, what's the latest on that case? Um, I, I know that the money has been returned. Those monies that were seized by the special prosecutor, mm -hmm. it's been returned to Cecilia Dapa, right? Yeah, that's so true. She, so she, she had the liberty to have spent it by now. Uh, uh, yes, legally. Yes, in theory. But I hope that should be wise to uh, they say preserve it because we are coming for it. When the case, hopefully, we should win that case and then the, uh, uh, listen, the investigations and possibly criminal prosecution will continue. Because everywhere, they will tell you that as soon as you see money beyond somebody's income, you should be thinking money laundering straight. Yet the Attorney General is foisting a certain warped interpretation on us that no, we, we need a predicate offense. What predicate offense? You see somebody with plenty of money like this, the law has been amended to make it easy. Once the money is beyond your income, we should be going in the direction of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, money laundering. And the Attorney General wants to force us into a certain corner. You know, subsequently, the leak tape shows you the kind of deals he's been doing. I, I see, but then Hopefully, again, in the, well, for me, what I, what I want to find out is, so, the special prosecutor conducted a lifestyle audit, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that position that you take, that if by evidence, at least what mm -hmm. we see, yeah. somebody's lifestyle is much more than what the person ends as yeah. a public officer. That's correct. And the lifestyle audit has been conducted. Mm. What, what was the evidence of the lifestyle audit, the result of that lifestyle audit? after the special prosecutor did that. They did confirm that indeed this person was living beyond her means. Okay, so, um, excuse me. There are parts of it that I remember she refused to answer the questions. Mm. The sources of income, part of it. Right. So I don't think the audit was quite complete. complete. Okay. However, from her statements, the investigations that were conducted, you know, she said she was doing cosmetic business, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So the special prosecutor, Mr. Jabin, went on to rate, and it turned out that the businesses didn't belong to her. Right. So that is what showed that, oh, then it means the money is not yours. Then at a point, she said the $1 million belonged to her diseased uh, brother. Then that one, too, when they went into rate, they saw that, no, the diseased brother, uh, without disrespect to shoemakers, couldn't have made that much money. And even mm -hmm. the diseased brother's wife, sought to sue her, then she backtracked. So at least, even though she didn't complete the lifestyle audit, as far as I'm aware, the last time the special prosecutor came out on this matter, it was clear that where she said she got the money from, it turned out to be false. So there's no way she's gonna have this money. No, not as long as some of us live. Will this mm. fight will continue forever? Mm. Yes. And yes. It's, it's one that we'll, we'll, we'll also keep an eye and see how things play out. And. Uh, very interestingly, yeah. how things, things, things yeah. uh, are going as we speak. Yes.